Once upon a time, a lovely mermaid named Ariel rescued a drowning prince from a shipwreck. Ariel's father had forbade her to swim to the surface, but she had to to save the prince. Ariel wanted to be part of the human world so badly. Somehow she would find a way. As she touched the prince's face, she wished with all her heart that she could stay on the beach and dance with this man of her dreams. As the prince lay unconscious, she sang to him. What would I do to see you smiling at me, she sang. Her father's trusted friend tried to convince Ariel that being under the sea was her home and she would be much happier living her life there instead of the human world. The sea king had asked his friend to keep an eye on his daughter. But despite all the king's friend's efforts, he could not convince her because she was in love with the prince. The fish, her only best friend, was the only one who understood her. Her fish friend surprised Ariel with a statue of the prince that had sunk with the shipwreck. Oh, thank you so much, my friend, Ariel said. The statue looks exactly like him. Just then, her father the Sea King found Ariel in her secret grotto with her collection of things from the world above the sea. He destroyed all of her treasures in an attempt to protect her from the dangers of the human world. Ariel was so upset. She sought out the help of the sea witch. The sea witch made a deal with Ariel. In exchange for the mermaid's voice, the witch would transform Ariel's mermaid tail into legs. The sea witch told Ariel she would remain human only if she received a kiss of true love before the sunset on the third day. As Ariel wiggled her newly found toes, the sea king's trusted friend knew he had to tell the king but he knew Ariel would be so sad as a mermaid. The king's friend agreed to help Ariel find the prince. Ariel's seagull friend helped her find a dress and it wasn't long before the prince arrived. You are the one, he exclaimed. The one I have been searching for. <laughs> Ariel nodded but could not speak. But the girl who rescued me had the most beautiful voice, said the prince. Perhaps you are not the girl I have been searching for. Still, the prince helped her to the castle and they had dinner that night. Ariel made the prince laugh for the first time in weeks. He showed her around his kingdom the next day and was enchanted by her enthusiasm for everything from horses to puppet shows. The prince thoroughly enjoyed Ariel, and that night, they went for a quiet, romantic boat ride. As the prince leaned in to kiss Ariel, the sea witch made her pet eels tip the boat. Then the sea witch hypnotized the prince and transformed herself, pretending to be his mysterious dream girl. She arranged a wedding right away to make sure all of Ariel's plans would fail. Ariel's seagull bird friend gathered all of her ocean friends to help Ariel defeat the sea witch's evil plans. Her friends fought the sea witch and won, and Ariel's voice was restored. And the spell on the prince was broken. He realized Ariel was his true love, but it was too late and Ariel was a mermaid again. The evil sea witch dragged Ariel back into the sea. But the strong prince would not lose his true love again, 
and he fought and destroyed the evil sea witch. The sea king and his trusted friend watched. And the sea king could see how much his daughter loved the prince. So, he granted her wish to marry the prince. All of Ariel's great sea friends applauded as the prince and Ariel were married and they lived happily ever after.